Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm just gonna do something very informal as usual, as per usual. Don't mind the mess in the back, but I do kind of want to do like an outfit of the day plus like a bag review that I have. So yeah, if you are interested, keep on watching. Okay, so can you please like not mind um, the mess behind me? Maybe I should just put this here. Okay, so for today's outfit, um, I just want to show you guys my outfit today. I mean, I would I wouldn't say like it's like the cutest freaking outfit. No, um, but I just want to show you because like I got it for like such a steal. Okay, hold on. So this is my outfit today. It's a Sunday, and like I just wanted to go really cash. Um. Yeah, I just want to share with you guys how I got it, like, as a steal. Like, this top, um, it was, it's from H&M, and original price was $40, and I literally got it for $3. Ha! <laughs> um, yeah, $3, and it's, like, it's a super long turtleneck, and, like, and it's, like, neon, not really, like, neon, yeah, it is kind of neon. But like a very, it's a wearable like neon pink. And it's like really long, it goes down to your thighs. So it covers the bum, which I like. Like I don't like super short sweaters. Um, and yeah, I love the sleeves. It goes really long and super comfortable. So this specific top, I'll link it down below because like this is such a look. Like you don't need anything else. Like all you need is like a neon sweater and you're good. <sighs> Anywho, I have these leggings. They are super shiny. They're faux leather leggings. I just thought it looked really cute with like the pink, like the neon and then that like moto leather look. The most important thing that I wanted to show you are these shoes. Um, they are Air Force One star studded shoes and they have like stars on them. Like they are so cute. Like there's like silver stars. They have black ones but I just wanted like a statement piece. Cute. Like I don't need to wear like if I were to wear these shoes I don't think you need to wear like um any accessories because it's already so so it's, it's much. It's a it's a very much. <laughs> yeah, so this is my bag today. It's the Alexander Wang mini baby Rocky. Um I don't quite know I don't really know like the exact name, but I'll like leave it somewhere. I'm gonna do a little mini review on it. But um, yeah, this is the bag that I wore today. And I do believe this is, yeah, this is the smallest Rocco or Rocky. So if you're wondering, this is the smallest. So yeah, I'm gonna do a mini review on it and like show you what fits inside. So <laughs> yeah, technically my outfit today. That's my outfit. Peace. So the bag is like a cross body bag, but it also has like a handle, just like the regular, like a bigger Rocky. It has a strap and it is adjustable. It has these little adjustable buttons or like, yeah, buttons there. And um, yeah, it is in the silver hardware. Now, you may be wondering, is this bag heavy? I wouldn't say it's not heavy, but it is a thicker leather, and so it can tend to feel heavy when you're carrying a lot of stuff in here. Um, I do believe that they tried to change their studs on them to make it a little lighter because I have the original big, the original Rocky, and it has like the bigger studs and oh my gosh, it is the heaviest bag I own. So like I never wear that bag anymore. But then I do believe that they changed like the hardware and they made it a little lighter. So I don't know how true that is, but 
This bag isn't as heavy and just because it's like small too. Yeah, see, I don't like it this length, but when you put it on your shoulder, it's a cute length, like up to your, your butt. Like you could take it off, like the straps. And then it's like a really cute like mini bag. Sometimes I carry it like this as well. So I think that's really cute. Let me just show you what the strap is like when it's super long. When it's the longest, actually. And so this is okay, dokey. So it's nice to have adjustable straps. So this is the longest it can go, though. Not super long, but I'm five, I'm about five, five, and um, it hits me like this is my stomach. God. Okay. So that's the bag. Um, do I, I'm gonna move you guys here. Do I recommend this bag? If you want like a stylish piece, in your collection, this is the piece for you. And it's not even, it wasn't that expensive too. So originally, I don't know how much the original price is. I'll probably leave it somewhere here. But I did get this for about $250 and it was such a steal. But I do know that I got it for like a good steal on Farfetch, which is where I shop for all of my bags, most of my bags. Yeah! It's so cute. Like I love the studs. Um, I'm gonna show you what fits inside. So let me just take off out everything. Okay. So the bag, the bag's opening is pretty large. Now it doesn't like it may seem like it doesn't fit a lot, but it is a bucket bag. And you know bucket bags fit hella stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you what fits inside. It has a pocket here. Let's see. It has a, this the pocket right there. And what I like about it is you can put your cards in here so you don't have to put in like a full wallet, which takes up too much space. What I carry today, um, I carried my, my keys. This is the Louis Vuitton key clay. And then I left the keys out. But then the inside has my cards. And this is what I love about this um, Louis Vuitton like small leather good is because it's so like versatile. So that's in there. So that fits in perfectly. Like there's still a good amount of space. Headphones, my Dior lip glow, my little mini Benetton my fluff mat and then I do have sunglasses but the sunglasses aren't in here I just have lashes <laughs> but if you wanted if you had glasses because I hate putting in glasses into my purses without a case so if you're wondering if it fits after like all the wallet and stuff it does fit this is my phone oh my case so cute got it off of Etsy um, and it's like a leather foil pressed personalized case I still have to squeeze it in a little bit so wait let me just put the phone in first it is a compact bag and literally if you want this bag you be you should be prepared to just fit just the things that you need like nothing excessive and so that's literally all that it fits I mean, you could squeeze in like tissues or a lip gloss, but yeah, honestly, it's a little heavy, not going to lie, just because the leather is just so thick. Um, if you were looking for a lighter crossbody bag, this might not be the one for you. If you really like the style, I think it's like an, a really good bag, like even if it's a little heavy. It's not a huge bag, so it wouldn't be such a hassle to carry. Um, 
and it wouldn't be like super heavy, but it is on the heavier side, especially for a cross, a mini bag. If you are the type to carry it like, like a handbag without the straps, it's such a cute bag. Like so cute, like oh my gosh, if you carry it around like this, it's such a statement piece that everyone is gonna comment on your bag. If you were looking to buy a Rocco, um, I do not recommend the bigger one. Let me show you. An Alexander Rocco, especially the bigger one, do not buy it. It's a little, it's a little heavy. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I don't use this bag anymore. And like, I bought this with my own money and like I had never really used it much. Um, but the leather is really good. It's like such a thick leather that is such a good, like, it's good quality. Anywho, if you really love the style, go ahead and skip the bigger versions and go for either the nano or the mini or like the two smaller because I know that there's one that's a little bigger than this and it's just as cute as this one but you could skip on the bigger Roccos. These I don't recommend. <laughs> I was contemplating on like selling this bag but it was one of, I think this was like my first designer piece that I bought with my own money and I was literally craving for this bag but when I actually got it I never found myself using it it's such a waste because it's super pretty but what a waste we really do love the style like the studs like I'm a stud kind of girl if you can't tell there's stud on my shoes there's studs on my shoes so like I'm a study girl that's like my mini review <laughs> I don't know why I'm like so tired, but that's my outfit and my mini review. Um, super simple, but like, uh, it's such a look. Like, I just love these shoes. I'll try to link these down below because, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Like, everyone has just the white ones, but put studs on them. Damn. You different, girl. Yeah. Peace. Oh, plus my makeup, it's a little on the pinky side to complement this. Makeup. If you want more, or if you like my videos, subscribe, or like, and I know. Bye guys.